the error scam. When an IVF cycle fails, patients demand answers. And the doctor says, hey, I made an embryo, I put it back, it didn't implant. Now, if it didn't implant, perhaps that means your uterus lining or your endometrium wasn't receptive. It didn't allow the embryo to implant. Makes logical sense. So what do we do about this, doctor? How do we find out whether my endometrium was receptive? I've got good news for you. I've got this test. It's the latest genetic test which has come from overseas, which is called an ERA or an endometrial receptivity assay. And it's a genetic test that will allow us to check whether your endometrium is receptive or not. It's expensive. It costs about 40,000 rupees. But I think you should do it because it will increase pregnancy rates. So what does the poor patient know? Okay, fine, doctor. We'll do the ERA. You're telling me to do it. It sounds very seductive because obviously you want to put an endometrium which is receptive because you want to put an endometrium which will increase the chance of the embryo implanting. And therefore, if you have an optimally receptive endometrium, the chance of that embryo implanting is going to increase. That's a no-brainer. So isn't it a logical test? I wish it was. The reality is the test is rubbish. It doesn't help. There's too much confusion. There's variation from cycle to cycle. And the test doesn't provide useful information because that's the way the human body works. No menstrual cycle is a copy of each other. And therefore, what could be optimal endometrial receptivity in Jan is not necessarily optimal endometrial receptivity in July. Unfortunately, patients don't know this. And doctors won't tell them. And doctors are very happy to upsell and do all these expensive tests so that even if the cycle fails, they can tell the patient with a clean conscience, look, I tested your endometrium. We did the endometrial receptivity assay test. And in spite of that, your cycle failed. So I, as a doctor, am not responsible. There must be something else wrong in your body. And you know then what these doctors do? To add insult to injury, they then tell the patient, okay, then we need to do a PGD to test your embryogenetics. Or we need to do immune therapy because it's quite likely that your immune system is rejecting the embryos. Complete rubbish. But poor patients are so desperate that it's very easy to take them for a ride. And the tragedy is that lots of doctors will do this.